everyone. My name is Edimo Campos uh, from Brazil, and I'm here representing a group of scientists from different institutions around the world, some of them in this audience today. Uh, in this presentation, I will be showing you results we published recently in GRL showing or confirming that the temperature in the South Atlantic or the Antarctic bottom water in the South Atlantic is not only increasing but possibly increasing with an accelerated rate in the past few decades. Let's start with this. We know that the ocean, by means of this global thermohaline circulation, plays a very important role in the climate system. We also know that a slight change in temperature and salinity in the ocean may result in change in the thermohaline circulation and eventually and consequently change in the climate system itself. In the Atlantic Ocean, the thermohaline circulation can be represented uh, by this uh, Atlantic Meridian of Returning Circulation, or AMOC. Uh, uh, the AMOC is actually composed by two cells. The upper cell, that is the more uh, known component uh, formed by warmer waters flowing to the South Atlantic, to the North Atlantic, and eventually uh, releasing heat to the atmosphere, uh, sinking and uh, then flowing back to the South Atlantic. But there is also this uh, lower cell. Uh, the lower cell is formed by water sunk around Antarctica, uh, flows to the north and eventually return uh, south uh, together with the uh, deeper branch of the upper cell. Important component of this uh, lower branch is, or the lower cell of the AMOC, is that properties acquired near the surface are usually carried for long distance as part of the AABW flow. It is also important to uh, point out that uh, the latitude 34.5 degrees south is a very important region to monitor the uh, Atlantic Meridian Overturning Circulation. <clears throat> Motivated by this importance of the 34.5 degrees south, or actually the importance of the South Atlantic in this uh, Meridian Overturning uh, Circulation, in the beginning of the century, a group of scientists from different countries uh, decided to start a program to monitor uh, the AMOC in the southern components or in the, the southern regions of the Atlantic. And uh, this uh, program is started by around 2007, and uh, uh, it's named the SAMOC, or the South Atlantic Major Return Circulation Program. And uh, within this program, uh, a, a very important component is this uh, line of uh, uh, instrument that extend from South America to South Africa. It's normally referred as the SAMOC Basin Wide Array or SAMBA. And it's uh, maintained by a consortium of institutions from uh, at least uh, six or eight countries uh, in Americas and Europe and Africa. In Brazil, the Brazilian component of SAMOC uh, is funded by the Sao Paulo State Funding Agency, FAPES, and is uh, composed by regular hydrograph crews uh, in the western uh, part of the Samba line, and also uh, includes the mooring of instruments uh, on the west Samba, and uh, also uh, a mooring a mooring platform near the bottom in the Vima Channel, which is a deep channel between the Santos Plateau and the Rio Grande Rise, connecting the Argentine Basin and 
uh, the Brazil Basin. Uh, it, it is uh, through the Vima Channel that most of the Antarctic bottom water that flows from the Argentine Basin to the Brazil Basin goes through in its way to the north. Data collected by SAMOC have been used in different publications in the recent years. For instance, uh, this one published by Marion Castellet and a team of colleagues from different institutions have found uh, that both the upper and the lower cells of the AMOC in the South Atlantic present uh, high variabilities in periods ranging from a few days to weeks in addition to the low frequency variabilities normally expected. The first 10 year data set collected along Samba was used uh, in a publication in GRL uh, in 2020 with a important result showing that the temperature of uh, the absolute waters in the South Atlantic has been increasing or at least uh, increased in the past decade, in the decade that covered by uh, the Samok observations. As seen in this slide, the water that is formed around Antarctica, and in particular in the weather sea, uh, forms a, uh, a bottom current that enters into the Argentine basin and eventually cross the Vima Channel into the Brazil, Brazil basin in the South Atlantic. Uh, this Vima Channel uh, is uh, for, for this reason, Vima Channel is a very important region to monitor. And in January of 2019, a uh, platform composed by a current meter and uh, a micro cat, uh, among other uh, sensors, was installed, uh, was moored in the Vima Channel at about 50 meters above the seafloor. The data from the Vima channel collected uh, by Sambar was analyzed in combination with data from other uh, current meters, other moorings, uh, historical data in the Vima channel, and also uh, CTD data collected by hydrographic cruises in the region. And the results uh, show clearly that from uh, the 1980s to the end of the 2020, there was a, in, an increase of uh, 0 0.059 degrees Celsius in potential temperature uh, from January 91 to August 2020. And uh, most importantly, in fact, uh, it looks like uh, that the in, in rate of increase of temperature uh, around uh, 2005 or 2005, 2007, the, uh, the rate of increase jumped from uh, about 0 0.016 degrees Celsius per year to 0 0.00. 26 degrees Celsius per year. So uh, a considerable increase in the temperature rate suggesting that uh, the temperature is not only increasing but it's increasing with an increasing rate. So in summary, the Antarctic bottom water in the Vima Channel is warming up. There was an increase of about 